Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us design a pre-stress flat slab now. Okay, so already we discussed the procedure, right? So how to design uh, the pre-stress flat slab? Okay, so we divide that into three parts, right? Analysis, yes, first of all, analysis, then design, and last checks. Okay, so here we are going to solve one example on this okay so generally floor system is given to you so this is the floor system of uh, each panel of size 6 meter by 6 meter so it varies see as we know the range is from 6 meter to 15 meter we can keep so this is 6 meter by 6 meter panels okay A symmetric section symmetric spans are given in both directions so if you design the pre-stressing Ten uh, cables which are provided in one direction, it means it uh, same you can provide on other direction also. No need to design separately for other direction. If symmetrical spans are given, if not given, then we need to design it in both the way, uh, in both directions. Okay, so see the question how it is asked. Okay, so Tomok point of view it is important. Okay, so you need to design along both the direction fine so in exam definitely question ask on one direction only okay you have to design okay so any part analysis design or check part in one direction you have to do okay so this is the floor system given of 6 meter by 6 meter the given data is the type the given structure we have to design is as it as a type 1 structure the thickness of the flat slab is given in this example it is 150 mm okay right or if not given suppose thickness of the flat slab only floor system is given so practically we select the size of the floor system only okay so remaining themes these all things you can you need to assume only the size of columns are available with us okay so remaining things you have to assume or you have to consider for the design but in exam, this, this is the given data because IS6006 is not allowed. Okay, so size of the strands definitely given to you. Okay, so if not given, in term of point of view, you need to assume these all. Fine. So see this thickness of the flat slab 150 mm is given. If not given, you can calculate it by using the L by D ratio clause number 23.2 just like RCC slab right so same clause you are going to refer for deflection criteria right to decide the depth effective depth you will get okay so you know L by D ratio for simply supported slab it is 26 right for continuous it is 7 for uh, simply supported it is 26 so these clauses are given okay so refer 23.2 so here for continuous sorry for simply supported it is 20 for continuous it is 26 l by d so here this is continuous slab so we can use 26 right so l by d 26 so effective depth you get assume the cover 30 mm okay and add the size of the strands also 10 mm it is more than enough okay so half of 10 also you can consider and you will get the overall depth okay so like this way you can assume the depth and remember this depth should not be less than 125 mm as per the eyes okay so this is the way to select the size of the thickness of the flat slab if not given so that you can perform in first step proportioning right okay so i hope you get this next thickness of drop panel how we get this see this is given to you in this example 225 mm actually it is 150 plus 75 that is the total depth so total thickness of the drop panel is given 225 mm from top so it means 150 plus 75 it become 225 okay so if not given how you calculate here you can assume minimum d by 4 okay so where d is the depth of the flat slab thickness of the flat slab okay so overall depth divided by 4 that gives the thickness of drop you can add the thickness of flat slab in that you will get the total thickness of the drop panel right so understand the question carefully okay so this is drop next size of the drop size of the drop here it is given 2 meter by 2 meter if not given you can assume as a span by 3 okay so you can take this is the uh, 
<coughs> criteria that you can use span by 3 where span is 6 meter 6 by 3 2 meter same values you get okay so like this way you can assume the size of drop fine then size of column is available with us definitely it is given to you it is 500 by 500 mm okay either it so sizes it vary size of the columns vary so here throughout floor system it is same okay so it is 500 by 500 fine so after this grade of the concrete m40 is selected you can take minimum m30 because this is pt slab okay for post tensioning we know minimum grade we take m30 and for free tensioning we take m40 so this is post tension slab so definitely it is m uh, so you can assume more than that also so here i am considering m40 in the